Hello guys, so today we're going to do simplifying rational expressions, exponents, okay? So let's start. Um, we're going to start with some example. So say we have the square root of um, x, okay? So remember, square root of x, we're going to have the power right here inside. It's called power is 1. We call this one the power, and the one from outside, we're going to call it the roots, okay? So right here is square root, so we're going to have two is called the roots. So imagine you have a flower that look like this. Okay, and yes, go ahead and make fun of my flower. <laughs> okay, and the root at the bottom, right? So what happened is the idea is we're going to rewrite this one, square root of x into the rational exponents. Mean the exponent is going to be a fraction. Okay? So let's take a look. Remember in this example, the flower go on the top and the root always going to be in the bottom, right? Um, per biology, of course, in gravity. So we're going to rewrite this so that we put the power is on top of the root. So one on top and two in the bottom. So x to the power of one half. Good. Next, let's take a look at another example. So say we have uh, in the paper, it's going to look like this. Four square root of y. Right? Again, in, outside it's called the root. Inside is called the power. So you have nothing that's so one. The power or the exponent is one. So we're gonna keep the base, which is our y same. And then you're gonna raise up to the power of flower on top of the root means power on top of the root. One over four. Okay power on top of the root. This is power and the bottom is the root. All right, clear? Next we have the um, square root of t square and now size seven. Let me keep in the color consistent. So we're going to rewrite this one. Why don't you take it a try and I'll be right back. Here we have the power is 2 and the root is 7. So our example is going to look like this. T, um, the exponent go on top. So 2 on top of the 7. Yay! I know you're going to get the same, right? Power over the root, inside over the outside. Good. So this is how you convert from radical into exponent, um, how do I say, rational exponent. Root and the um, exponent, right? The top, remember the top is called power. So let me use red for power. It indicate all the number on the top. So the power here is one. The power here on the second is 3. The third example, the top number is the power, that's 7. Right? So power go next to the exponent, of course. So here, 7. This one is 3. And this one is 1. But really, we don't really need to write 1 on the first one. Okay? It's understood. If you have nothing, the exponent is 1. The power is 1. Okay, next we're going to put the bottom. The bottom number we are uh, we call them the root. Remember the root is the bottom. So we're going to use the root is uh, six. So let's label this one is root. The root go outside like that. Okay? And same thing over here, the bottom number two right here is a root. The root go outside like this. Same thing on the third example, we have the bottom number is a root. Remember the root stay in the bottom. Okay? 
and the power go inside like that. So we can write this is q root of x to the power of 7, square root of n to the power of 3, and the sig root of x. But really, on the second example, if you have two right here, uh, we, we know that's square root, right? So normally, you um, you don't see this two, okay? It's understood with nothing in the root outside, we understood the mass two. Good? So they written like this. That means the root right here is two. All right, it was written like this. That means the root right here is two. So y three to have two. Okay, like that. Okay. Next, we're going to learn how to make it a little bit more challenging. Okay, so let's take a look at the example on the bottom.